I like all of them. Shrimp, beef, chicken. The nice. veggie one, I gotta try that new one. But oh, yeah, but here we go. Game do one. Do that later. It's winter semis here. Oh, oh yeah. my god, deleted. It's, yeah. <laughs> he's like, just like you said, man. I'm in this top eight stage for a reason. Right. Let, let's get to work. Yeah, he's like, yo, I live on the top eight stage, bro. Yep. Oh you yeah. You hit me with the W guy. with the W Y A. I, I, I say at, at top eight. Oh. Oh, I like but that mix. As fast like same here, homie. I'll be on that stage too. Fox Puff, the quintessential. You guys seen it so many times that I feel like, how many times can we rely on Brand on this matchup? <laughs> We've yeah. seen Harvey Box do it so many times. It, it's a volatile way. It's a, it's a crazy matchup to be. It's a, yeah, it, it's very crazy. You know, Hungry Box controls a lot of space. He has so, so good aerial mobility. He covers back airs on purpose in a place where you might jump. Right. And then he knows that you're not gonna jump, so then he just goes to the bottom. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Man. But as Fox, you want to try to get under Jigglypuff a lot of the time. Yeah. It, sometimes you know you can mix up on a stage like this. Go for go for platform movement. Try to adjust Hungry Box to go for that. Where he's like, oh, he goes for platforms all the time, so I'm gonna just start doing my back airs here. But right. then you trick him, and then you go under him. <laughs> yeah. Like now going under is people. definitely the play, especially if they like to like you know, not even just shield drop, but just like drop below the shield without shield drop. Like sometimes Hungry Box does that. See, like right there, yeah. he's like, he, what you're saying is like. By the time he does that, you're already there. Yep. Um, yeah, this matchup is like, uh, I think it's like uh, a lot of the times I like to force Puff to jump and then come down and catch her as she's coming down. Ooh, ooh, oh, but yeah, that DI right there set that up beautifully. Yo, if you would have yeah. DI'd up, rest. If you DI away towards the stage, like away from the stage, then you get Wall of Pain. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Just waiting for his perfect opportunity there. Just trying to shoot a bit more, a bit more damage right there. Yeah. All right, yeah. If he gets the up throw right now. Okay, try to mix him up. Very oh. risky. All right. Yep. Hunger Box is facing himself, so he won't get shine or forward smash. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, oh, I know. Yeah, that's punishable. Yeah. If it was close enough to his shield, he would have got rested. He could have grabbed. Yeah, or rested that shield. See, this is where, like, Puff actually prospers low-key, like, no joke. Because it's, like, it's such a commitment, and another commentator occurs. It's such a, like, you just at some point, versus, like, when Puff's at 100, you have to hard commit, and with game two we go. But, yeah, like, when Puff's at 100, I just feel like, especially when she has a lead, even when she does it, though, it's, like, you have to like hard commit as Fox, which is like already really risky because you're like, you could just lose the situation flat out. And I think that's what keeps Puff from like, not getting absolutely obliterated in this matchup. Yeah. You know, it's like that that concept that at any point, you could just lose your stock if the stocks are even or you're down. You know. Yep. But now we're going to FD. Mm -hmm. it's a very strong stage here for Fox. Now there's no platforms in the way, but oh. Hungry Box is being very, very clutch here with these grabs. And Ooh. amazing DI. Yep. Yeah. We live it. Yeah, we live it. Yeah, that's always good to get the rest punish and still live, man. So right now, Hungry Box is like, look, man, you can try to bait me to get your grab setups all you want, but I got mine too. Yep. Oh, okay. Thought he would go try to bait out that roll so then he could get the rest. Wow, and the Ooh, single hit up there. hit. Yeah. <laughs> and, that, and that setup that Hungry Box does where he up throws you into up air and then re-grabs, you can actually jump out before you get grabbed again. Okay, yeah. let's go. But it's a very tight window. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Is, um, does point priority matter in that scenario? Because sometimes, like, I know, like, Fox and Falcon's chain grab, like, when you're port four, yeah. you're more likely to jump out of chain grab. I don't know if that's the case, like, with the uh, Puff's up air re-grab setup. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I've been doing it for years on different boards, so maybe, right. I may be wrong. Right. Yeah. Yo, practical, man. Hit hit me. I yeah, tell yeah, him every yeah. every time I contact, hit me. Yeah, yeah, hit us yeah, up, I need man. to learn more, man. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. See, here's the, yeah. This is the part where, like, Fox could just crumble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay, yeah. very nice. Okay, yeah. he got it. He got it. But, yeah, if you don't, uh, if you don't get that kill, you're just sitting there struggling with and I'll smash it to X is hard. <laughs>
What? This stage is like so skewed, man. <laughs> oh, ooh, I like that reverse grab. This is one of those matchups who is very stage dependent, man. Yep. Compared to others, like, you know, something like a Fox Falco, or like a Fox Mart. You, get, you can say, like, most of the matchups, like, and it might be slight favors in some scenarios, but the rest are pretty even. Whereas, like, other than Battlefield, that's like, yeah. these matchups are all, like, crazy. Yeah, you're right. That's uh, fat, though. Yeah, that's fat with the slight lead. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Hungry like Box that. with the aggression. He hasn't done that yet. He just mixed him up. And he one more. He should be dead, yeah. yeah. Grabs ledge, yep. yep. He there. knows. Yeah, he knows the exact Firefox distance. <laughs> yeah, right. Some people get confused and then they let Fox come back, but he knew. Big yeah. brain box. Yep. Oh. Oh, 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 oh yep. No. Oh, oh, and he missed he the jet jab. jab. He's human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, he missed it. <laughs> oh. Oh, Ooh, I yeah. like that. I like the drill run away. He yeah. knew, oh, this isn't good on shield. I need to get out of here. Yeah. That's fat man. Uh, not getting his text could cost him. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is scary on both sides. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, oh box okay. message. Jump up. Oh, wow. They're both oh, flubbing man. right now. Yeah. They're flubbing. And let's see what happens. Okay, no short end. Okay, goes for the oh, He knew good. that he would go towards the ledge. Drift. Wow, that was a great call. Yeah. yeah. How did he know, bro? And the thing is, even if he guesses wrong, one, he's not a death percent, and two, it's Jigs. You're going to come back. True. Yeah, so it's worth it to go for it. Uh, worst case, he landed. Yeah, like, worst case, like, s would have, like, grabbed ledge. Yeah, that Hungry Bucks would go just a little bit low, but yeah. he has all those jumps. Right. He can make it back, no problem. So we go back. I mean, I, I think this stage is, like, <laughs> So bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, just 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 goes to show you how good Hungry Box is. Right. Yeah. Oh, he missed the up throw up air. My man did the wrong move. Sometimes that happens. Oh, yeah. nice tech. Side B. No, he yeah. thought that too. But yeah. that's nice. stanky yeah. leg. Oh, okay. Just oh. missed the positioning there to get the back air. Knowing that he would be up B. Yeah. Yep, dare grab. Yeah. Ooh, oh, this side B, if you're going high, I would have went low and died. Uh, Yo, that was crazy. Okay, yeah. nice up there up there. Yeah, that, that was, was Yeah, that was real good by S Foul. All those uh, mix ups on his recoveries, it still got the edge guard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now we got an even bout. Ooh, that Ooh, was sick. Yeah, that was risky. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't really been DI'ing the up throws at all. Yeah, he's kind of just like putting himself in unsafe spots where if he messes up his tech, then Hungrybox could just like grab a right. up throw and then you're not DI'ing and then you get rested. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Ooh, that was crazy. Good crouch. Yeah. Dude, the power of crouch cancel in melee is kind of busted low key. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh yeah. no, like you said, he flubbed his tech. Yeah, he didn't want to do that at all. And <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, you're that done. That was that, that, that literally got him killed. Yeah. He baited out a side B, so <laughs> then s -Fast like, oh, no, he put himself in that spot. I can't side B. But uh -huh. then he knew that he would up B and caught him the layers. Man. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. It's like Photoshop, how they got, like, you can just create layers, more layers, more layers. Oh, that's how you box. He just <laughs> got them all. Hungrybox is doing an amazing job. Now that there's no platforms, just in case you get in a position where you jump, then I can hit you with these bears. But s getting that up throw up here brings it to last stock. Yeah. Oh, and, and that's wow. a 30. And damn. Damn. He gets oh. up immediately. Right. Yeah, he shut me up yeah. real quick. <laughs> he got it. Like, when he got the up air, my man stood up. Like, yeah, this is over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, too, how s did a good job with